Hey, you're watching On The 40, and in this video, we'll be counting down our list of the top 10 hurdlers never to win the Liam McCarthy. 10. Joe Quaid, Limerick Quaid made his senior debut during the 1994 championship. He went on to play a key role for Limerick as goalkeeper during a successful era, where he won two Munster medals and two National Hurling League medals. He has two All-Star awards and is a two-time All-Ireland runner-up. 9. Paul Flynn, Waterford a winner of three Munster titles and a National League medal, the Bally Gunner forward was at the forefront as his county ended a 39 year drought by claiming the 2002 Munster title. One of the top scorers in the game for over a decade, Flynn amassed an incredible 24 goals in 46 games for the Dacia. Flynn has one All-Star to his name as part of the Waterford Under-21 team that won their first All-Ireland in 1992. 8. Terence McNaughton, Antrim Terence Sambo McNaughton was just 16 when he joined the Antrim senior hurling team in 1981. He was the undisputed leader of the Antrim team that reached the 1989 All-Ireland Final. McNaughton's inter-county senior career spanned from 1980 to 1997, during which he won 6 Ulster SHC medals. The left halfback also has one All-Star to his name. 7. Sean Stack, Clare The six mile bridge man is acknowledged as one of Clare Hurling's greatest servants Ever. He lined out for the banner at all levels, was on the senior team for 14 seasons from 1974 to 1987. Most people will remember Sean Stack for his powerful performance at centre halfback for the county where he won an All Star award in 1981. 6. Gary Kirby, Limerick Kirby is often regarded as one of the greatest players never to have won an All-Ireland medal. The centre forward was a key member of the Limerick team during the resurgence of the 1990s. During this time, Kirby collected two Munster titles and two National Hurling League titles and four All-Star awards. Kirby also won an Under-21 All-Ireland title in 1987 and has an astonishing 10 senior county medals with Patrick Swell. 5. John Milan, Waterford A legend of Waterford hurling, John Milan wore his heart on his sleeve whenever he put on the county jersey. With four Munster titles, five All-Stars and a National League, the corner forward had a stellar career for the Dacia, with only one big prize eluding him. A scorer of great and important scores, Milan racked up an incredible 15 goals and 133 points in 49 championship games. He also helped his club, De La Salle, win two Munster titles during his illustrious career. 4. Kieran Carey, Limerick The former Limerick captain was a central figure in the successful teams that reached two All-Ireland Finals and won two National Leagues in the 1990s. A towering presence in defence, Carey helped Limerick win two Munster titles in 94 and 96. His point against Clare in the Munster semi-final of 96 will go down as one of the most spectacular match winners ever. He has been honoured with three All-Stars during his career. 3. Ken McGrath, Waterford McGrath was the talisman in a Waterford team that was undoubtedly one of the finest never to taste success on All-Ireland Final Day. His inter-county career yielded four Munster Championships, a National League and eight All-Ireland semi-final appearances. McGrath won three All-Star awards in 02, 04 and 07. McGrath won six Waterford senior hurling titles and one Munster crown with his club Mount Sion. 2. Ollie Canning, Galway One of the game's top cornerbacks, Canning made his senior debut in 1996, aged 20. He went on to play a key role for Galway for the next 15 years. Canning won three Connacht medals and four National Hurling League medals during his senior career and was the recipient of four All-Star awards. Canning also won two All-Ireland minor titles and an All-Ireland Under-21 title with Galway, with just a senior title eluding him. 1. Tony Brown, Waterford One of the finest hurling players of all time, Brown's inter-county career spanned an incredible 23 years. During this time, the Bionic Man won 4 Munster titles and 7 Waterford County titles and became Waterford's most capped player. In 1992, Brown captained the under-21s to their first ever All-Ireland title aged just 19. His individual performances with the Dacia were awarded with 3 All-Star awards and in 1998, Brown became the first Waterford player to win the Hurler of the Year award. Thanks for watching this video, let us know in the comments below who you think should be on this list and subscribe to our channel for more videos.